can feel the blood creeping up from the heathen's guy. Real quick guys, um, today I am going to dive straight into the second episode of the previous video that I posted and uh, most of you has been um, requesting that I, you know, do a video on how to take a trade on uh, if you start analyzing on your daily time frame. Um, with the previous video I uploaded, I stated and I shared with you guys how you can analyze from weekly time frame down to when you are going to take your position and uh, most of you has been requesting that I do a continuation of that video whereby I will break it down from daily time frame down to the minimum time frame that one can take a position. So that is exactly what I'm doing. So this video is, um, should I say, um, is just for, um, you know, requesting purpose. You requested for this. Most of you that requested for this video, that is exactly what I'm doing. Just to let you guys see, know that I do read your comments. I do see um, your pain and I feel the pain with you uh, when you are expecting to get full details of something and it seems like um, the, the details or the information has been cut off. Alright, so I believe that was the reason you keep requesting that I do this particular video. So now today I am going to uh, dive strictly into the, um, you know, the episode two of that previous video. If you have not watched the first one, do yourself that favor to pause this particular video that you are watching right now and locate the previous video that I posted two days or day before yesterday, and uh, you know, um watch that particular video first then you understand the full details of what we are explaining here so for today's video i am going to go straight into daily time frame and as you can see the um chart is already on daily time frame and this is volatility 75 index guys now the first thing that you need to do once you come to your daily time frame as you can see right now currently the daily time candle all right because each of the candlestick that you are seeing right now so since this particular chart or this particular um chart is on daily time frame each of the candlestick that you are seeing here it represents a uh, one day all right so now we are going straight to the um one day this today then uh, this today candlestick guys all right so when you look at this previous candlestick the um uh, yesterday previous uh, the yesterday candlestick here you can see that here when you look at this yesterday candlestick you will see that it closed um bearish with long week on top all right so now <coughs> excuse me now um when you look at this when you um you know come to think of why this closed this way all right so we are not going to um go in details with this but today we are going to strictly focus on this daily time frame this daily candlestick that you are seeing right now and this particular one that is showing us a little bearish at the middle all right you can see that the body of this particular um today candle is showing bullish all right so now whatever situation or whatever position that you are going to open within this daily time uh frame today or within this daily candle that you are seeing today whether you go and buy or whether you go and sell, the um the goods or the, the the advantage that you are going to gain from this is the fact that this is too early for for us to decide if this candle is going to close bullish or is going to close bearish. So, whichever way that this direction or trend move this um candlesticks to, you are going to benefit. Why? Because um if it has to close bearish, it must first of all go up here and test on this week that you are seeing before it will come back and close at the bottom here. And if it's going to close uh, bullish, it will first of all come down here and retest on this uh, this particular week at the bottom before it will go back up and close bullish. Why? Because it's still too early to decide if this particular candle is going to close as the pre as yesterday candle which is uh, which closed bearish with long week on top all right so now the first thing that you need to do here is for you to mark use our tools that we use to mark here you pick the tools you mark this particular week at the top you go back there you pick the um two you mark the bottom here all right then to um enable you understand where the uh, where is the beginning of this particular um daily candlestick that we are dealing on today we are going to pick another two here this is our vertical line we place it on that particular today candle 
Now, by so doing, we'll be able to understand that this is the particular candle that we are dealing on. Now, we are going to, um, you know, step down to one hour or four hour time frame. Let's step to four hour time frame and see what that one candlestick, as I said earlier, on each of the candlesticks that you we are seeing on that our daily time frame represent one um, day. And now that we are um, four hour time frame, each of the candles that you are seeing here represent four hour time frame. So now this is the um, daily candle uh, stick that we marked. Look at it here and look at it here. So the week is at this place that we mark this, and the week. The bottom week is at this particular place that we mark. Now, when you look at this here, this is like what I was saying. All right, this market, uh, you cannot decide if it's going to close bullish or it's going to close bearish. Now, when you look at all these two candles that has already um, completed, or uh, this particular one that uh, that has already. Um, completed this particular one before the current one that you are seeing right now you will see that it closed the same thing like the previous um, or like the uh, yesterday candle that we spot on daily time frame all right so now you are not still going to do anything here guys all right just pay very close attention because this is very very sensitive guys if you don't know this you are going to blow off your money you are going to blow off your hard earned money all right so now this is volatility i really know how this works that is why i keep analyzing this in detail this way whereby you can trade with your eyes closed all right so now you go to your one hour time frame let's see what is going on on one hour time frame as I said earlier, you are not going to do anything on 4-hour time frame because you are just trying to see the overall trend, what or where the market has gotten to. Then, now this is um, our 1-hour time frame. When you look at the candle here, look at the our daily time candle stick that we mark. Look at it here. The um, tools that we use to mark it, uh, they cannot um, be moved, all right? It does not move from any, um, you know, from one place to another. It is static. So look at this here and look at this here. Now when you look at this here, you will see that this market has moved from here to this place. All right, it retested on that um, up uh, tool that we use to mark the up week that serves as resistance here. You can see this, the market has moved to that place and it pulls back down with different rejection up and down. That is to say the market does not have face right now. So what you just need to do that the market does not have face does not mean that you are not going to trade this particular thing. It's as simple as that. What you should be waiting for already, the market, um, we cannot decide if the market is going to close bullish or bearish because uh, it's too early to decide that. Now, you can take advantage of every one of these candles that you are seeing. How? By um, when you look at this place here, if this market moves so up here, Definitely, you know, it's going to come back because it will continue doing that until the market, once it breaks above, that is to say, we have seen uh, there is a trend then. If it breaks below, that is to say, there is a trend as well. All right. So that's below that I'm talking about. If it breaks above this uh, line that we marked, that is the rejection that at daily time frame. If it, be it breaks, any kind of breaks above this uh, line and close here, any other one that is forming, you have to open your position. That is to say the market is going to buy. And that is a trend for you. If you do, you do the same thing below here, you are going to open for sale. That is a trend for you. So now we are going to our 15 minute time frame we are trying to spot something here now when you look at this here this is a um, this is that our daily time frame this is where the candle that we marked look at the candle here and look at it here that is to say um the market pull back to this place here it pull back to this place and retest or uh, retested on this our uh, down marking that serves as support and moves back to that resistance stretch is as simple as that now when you look at this when you shift this you will see that look at these two double top here and the double top happened at this level this upper week the upper week that we marked on daily time frame it happened there and ever since then i don't think the market has gotten to that level look at this here you see this that is the market dropped all right you drop you can see, you see what i'm saying you see this so now even this particular one that moved up did not get to that level at all all right so now you can see that this market is selling guys once you open your position here this market is going to drop and once you open your position don't be greedy 
you can set your TP somewhere here or somewhere here. Because whenever this market moves to this place, whenever this current uh, trend moves to this particular place that you are seeing all this rejection, all right, is going to react as well. But if the trend is supposed to be going down, or if the trend of this particular one that has, you can see what I'm saying, you see that it's moving down. So if you open the position right now, you are going to set your first TP here, and your second TP should be, you are going to wait for it to get to that, um, the bottom, the the bottom marking that we did on daily time frame which is uh which is the uh, marking that we did on the lower week that serves as support that is where your second tp should be all right so now if you have taken the first tp at this zone here you have trapped a profit if you don't want to close it you can move your stop loss to this place then you allow the market to continue going down until it touches that um support level which is the marking that we did on that week bottom week all right so it's as simple as that then when you go to five minute time frame here you you see this here guys this is exactly what i'm saying all right so once you open your position for sale here look at this week here all right look at this particular week here this week is trying to tell you that this market is not going to you know um go beyond this for now all right so because the buyers push this market upward then the sellers um overcome them bring the market back down all right it's as simple as that and that bringing of this market down we continue to trend down until it gets to it. look at where i said you should set your first tp and if the market crosses this place that is to say you're going to adjust your take profit your stop loss to somewhere here then you allow the market to hit that week that is is going to fool the um retest on that um bottom week that we marked that serves as support it's as simple as that guys this is it it's as simple as that so that is how you are going to trade um your daily uh, candlesticks all right you just have to do your markings first and you capitalize on uh, the movement as all of them are moving here you capitalize on it when you look at this here we see that this market is dropping down you can see this here all right so i know exactly how this market moves and that is why i keep saying if you don't know how this market moves and you want to learn how to do this there is no harm in you contacting me or contact any other person all right it is not mandatory that you're going that i'm going to be your mentor all right so you can contact another person and learn the um tactics the tricks on how to trade synthetic indices all right so i am telling or sharing sharing all this information with you guys because i believe that you guys really want to make it big that is why you keep requesting that i do um a continuation of that previous video so that is the continuation of that previous video and if you do not understand anything as i said earlier on do not uh, uh, hesitate to contact me or do not hesitate to send me a message in the, the comment section as well and let me know what you um think about that and also if you want me to make you as i said earlier on do not forget to or uh, use the number i'm going to leave in the uh, comment section and uh, reach out to me and i'm going to you know um put you through on how your mentorship program is going to be like so that is just how it is guys and also do not forget to smash that subscribe button if you have not subscribed to my channel and also if you love content like this and you want others that are searching for valuable content like this to locate this particular video do not hesitate to smash that like button guys by so doing youtube will be able to post or push this video to others that are searching for content like this as you can see right now guys look at the rejection that i showed you on five minute time frame look at this here if this pulls up a little bit that is a retesting guys then it will now definitely pull back down all right so by a venture of looking at this you will see that this uh, market is trying to form what is called w here and once this candle closes another one might push up right in my push up then that is when you will get the full details of what you want to um do all right it's as simple as that guys so that is how it is as i said earlier on do not forget to smash that like button it's very very important for this channel to grow and also smash that subscribe button and if you want me to mentor you you know what to do use the number in the description of this video and let me know um that you want me to mentor you and that is how it is guys um signing out holy test peace